Hey everyone, welcome back to Gannett Reviews, where today we're checking out one of the boats that was on display at last year's Orlando Boat Show. This is a 2023 Seafox 226 Traveller Dual Console. This is a perfect boat for a family that enjoys multiple activities on the water, whether you're looking at cruising, fishing, diving, snorkeling, this one can do it all. She's powered by a Yamaha 250 horse V6, this is a 4.2 litre engine. At 3500 RPM you'll be doing around 22 mile an hour cruise and at 5900 RPM she's got a top speed of around 43 miles per hour. And with 105 gallons of fuel on board and cruising at around 22 miles per hour you should get a range of somewhere just over 450 miles. From a price point this was on offer for 97387 and for a brand new boat a lot of chrome features a lot of upgrades and design cues including the trailer it's easy to see why this one was getting attention we've got a retractable boarding ladder this has got that matting with a teak effect to it which is great because it's so much easier to work on walk on and it also doesn't get hot like teak decks normally do either this one's equipped with a hard top giving you extra shade and protection as well as plenty of handhold and stability on the transom you do have a shower for rinsing off you see we've got rod holders along the transom as well as having a towing post and this boat feels far bigger than it is i mean she's only 22 feet 4 inches in length and 8 feet 6 in beam but there's so much room in here and whenever you're walking around you'd think you were on a much bigger boat this compartment on the starboard quarter gives you easy access to the batteries and a lot of the engine management systems underneath the main seats along the transom you see here we've got an igloo cooler and then on the port side, this is self-draining insulated storage. You could use this as bait, but you could also use this for drinks and refreshments. On the port quarter, you do have a live well. And I like the fact that this one's got the glass lid, and that way you can easily see inside. We've got pop-up cleats, so that way you don't get your line snagged. And plenty of seating for your family and friends to enjoy a day on the water with you. So the seats to both port and starboard, they lift up. They've got a locking mechanism, but there's storage underneath. Again, this is self-draining. But look at the detail of the seating itself. These are very comfortable seats, but the stitching, the materials used, this has definitely got an upgraded feel to it. And speaking of upgraded feel, check out the helm on this one. This one's equipped with a Garmin multifunction display. The steering wheel itself has got a trim and tilt effect to it. You got your trim tabs. Stereo system that's got Bluetooth capabilities for connecting to your phone. It's got underwater lighting, the cigarette charger holders for your cell phones, full Yamaha engine instrumentation. You got your compass, and then because this is the dual console, you get that wrap around the screen, and that way it's going to reduce the amount of wind and spray that you're going to feel at the helm. You've also got a lot of different control options when it comes to the throttle. That way you can have it where if you're adjusting the power trim and tilt. But even the range of motion for the throttle as well so if that way you're coming to close quarter maneuver and you can adjust it too and what i wasn't expecting on a boat of this size but i definitely appreciate for family cruising is that this one's actually got a head compartment built into it if i open this door on the port side you'll see in here we do have a toilet this is also a great area for extra storage especially for seat cushions things like that we do have a sink in here and the faucet is a retractable shower head on the deck there's large storage space, this would be ideal for fishing rods, skis, wakeboards, things along those lines. Moving forward you do have the option of closing this off, especially if there's going to be high winds or high speed. There is additional storage underneath the helm itself, and then here you see we've got a removable cockpit table currently stored in there. And the best place for putting that cockpit table is on the bow. And on the bow we've got basically a U-shaped seating area. There's storage underneath all the seats, but it does have currently an infill, which you can turn it into a large sun pad. Plenty of speakers, plenty of handholds, plenty of drinks holders. And I'd imagine most of the people are going to use the forward storage. It's a great place for putting any sort of canopy covers, seat covers, anything like that, whenever you're using the boat. And if I make my way up to the bow, this one is equipped with an anchor locker. She does have a bow roller for dropping the anchor off. And then depending on your needs, someone at the boat show did mention that it is possible to equip this with a trolling motor on the bow instead. 
Not sure if that was an aftermarket option or through CFOX. And then there's a panda camera around. You just get a better view of how much seating you have here, as well as how much structural stability you have from that hard top. For a brand new boat, I think this is a fantastic option for a day on the water, family cruising, fishing, and all for under 100,000 brand new, with warranties, with the guarantees in place. And by being a new boat, it's typically easier to get finance and insurance for it as well. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments if you can leave a comment down below. If you haven't done so already, if you can hit that like and subscribe button, it really does make a difference. And I look forward to catching you on the next one. Thanks everyone.